Hi Aries, welcome back in. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Let's see. What do you need to know right now, Aries? What messages come through for you? Reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases, as we all say. Never try to force general readings on your situation. Nothing is set in stone. Right, Aries? <clears throat> Tarot is a self-development tool. Never try to force the reading on your situation. Rather, try to take the guidance out of it, right? <clears throat> All right. Pardon me for my voice. Let's dive in. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. What do you need to hear and what's coming up for you? What's the most important message? Aries needs to know right now. All right. Here we go. Aries, Six of Cups. I, I see you right now in a position where you're thinking heavily about something, somebody, a person or a situation dominating your mind, which has the roots in your past right the situation is coming from your past i see you heavily thinking about this thing right missing somebody missing how things used to be recalling something here you find yourself at a point where uh, you might be feeling like meeting somebody or you're missing somebody here yeah uh, there's an energy where <clears throat> right now you're finding yourself a little isolated there are questions on your mind which are not answered yet and there's a confusion how to look for answers i see a lot of confusion on your mind aries this is the point where maybe there are a lot of options or simply you're finding yourself in a position where you're not able to make a sol you know find a solution to a thing for some of you hermit and the seven of cups energy this combination uh, you know resembles to the south node energy by some means you might be having south node um impacting you heavily for some of you maybe there's a there's a transit going on because of which the south node is impacting you the k2 energy heavily right because at this time we turn in we try to find a lot of solutions a lot of questions pop up in the mind this can surround an aries leo sag in your surroundings this can be a power couple somebody you are very attracted to or somebody who is very attracted to you you are fired this person is also fired this can be your energy <clears throat> something has caught your attention but you're very confused about taking action towards that energy there's a fear that what is going to come out of this unexpected cup Hermit definitely shows me that you're not trusting something completely and you need deeper solution in order to find, uh, you know, a concrete answer to something. A lot of soul searching happening here. As we proceed forward, I do see a fresh start happening between you and a specific person. This can be this person, King of Wands. I see for some of you, you can find this person at a point where there's a lot of confusion in your mind and nothing is appearing clear. Six of Cups is showing me this can be somebody from the past returning or it's just that you had distance between you and this person. I do see you have a strong partnership this per with this person. Other way around, if this is somebody new, you are single and you're finding yourself at a point where you're isolated and you kind of can't look clearly, this person can definitely bring in some answers for you. I see after the arrival of this person, this can be a soulmate. Doesn't have to be a new beginning with them, but potentially it's possible. I see a fresh start happening. You know, it's like a beautiful uh, self-love, self-care energy, especially after the hermit. It's showing me that this is filling you with new hope and excitement in your life. So in this week, you can find this Ace of Cups energy. For some of you, if you're single, this can be new love. And for the rest of you who are missing somebody and you're thinking that situations can work out with a specific person entering the scenes, this can be love a fresh start with this person right you see how it resonates but i see something is coming up which is fulfilling you emotionally this is a good sign right it's a good start happening moving forward aries i see ace of cups here so for some of you <clears throat> from ace of cups to knight of cups you're finding this cup uh, to be more fulfilling because there's somebody who's ready to confess love who's ready to open up emotionally in your surroundings for some of you if you're finding yourself in the hermit position in the beginning of the week i see towards the middle of the week some confession some emotional expression can take place this can be really 
um, fulfilling yeah I see uh, the entrance it's like somebody's on the horse to reach out to you right so <clears throat> I know it appears a little melodramatic sometimes when we say a confession of love can take place but I do see messages coming in so some communication I see I can see a little letter here some communication surrounding this uh, expression can take place which is appearing a very positive thing in the middle of the week wow so it's like you'll find yourself on the top of the world <laughs> Six of Wands is showing me a beautiful encounter where you're loving the attention you're getting. For some of you, multiple people are giving you attention. For us, for rest of you, I see two people, possibly water and fire energy in your surroundings. So somebody's having strong water and fire in their chart. Six of Wands, I see you are enjoying the attention you're getting. This week is just changing a lot of things. The way you're starting and the way you're entering the week too the way you're experiencing this week is going to be very different six of wands is showing me you're getting a lot of attention in the middle of the week i see confessions i see proposals this can be a beautiful change happening here multiple proposals on their way this can be promotion or getting attention in your workspace also which appears really positive towards the end of this week i see you claiming beautifully your independence your um, stability in some situation so <clears throat> for some of you i see this confession or this person's entry in the in the sea uh, uh, you know <coughs> i'm sorry <coughs> on the scenes is going to be a beautiful change for you beautiful internal change for you it's like from isolation to beautiful attention this is appearing very positive and towards the end of this week i see you're coming into your power you're independent you're happy now you know what hermit and nine of pentacles they both have more or less isolated energies right but they're very different from each other hermit is isolated but they're feeling bad about some things they're trying to find some answers which they don't have answers for for the questions Nine of Pentacles, on the other hand, is a beautiful independent energy. So towards the end of this week, I see money growing. I see getting some kind of promotion, some kind of attention at work, some kind of appreciation. And for some of you, I see work-life romance also. Somebody in your work arena can propose to you this week or open up emotionally. But it's like, you know, uh, if you're feeling that I'm not getting attention, lack of attention, lack of care, I see the moment you start caring for yourself, the self-worth and energy here, a lot of independence and beautiful support coming in moving forward we have the wheel of fortune my god towards the end Aries as you proceed forward things are dramatically changing for you right and wheel of fortune is time now energy so you cannot put it in a week's or a month's time period it's a beautiful transformative energies beautiful transformative energies yeah you know so the past is being dropped down the new things are being accepted in the life and some kind of ascension happening my god i must tell you that this week is bringing beautiful ascension for you and now some mental clarity is needed for some of you it's like you're beginning the week with a lot of thoughts on your mind you're missing somebody and you're wondering that how things are going to proceed forward you're missing somebody it, you know it sometimes we just attach our happiness to some people and feel that without them how things are going to proceed forward but towards uh, as you proceed forward there are so beautiful new opportunities confessions appreciation if this is not love confession this can be some new proposals or simply some appreciation some compliments you might go on a date with somebody it's like a change in your aura and this change in your aura is somehow helping you understand your self-worth right again tarot is a tool for self-development so outcome is totally based on your free will but what is what i can see here is that this transformation is helping you outgrow something which was like a hindrance in your growth and towards the end ace of swords this is like accepting your truth this change whatever changes are happening with you within you in fact in this week this is helping you understand your self-worth so i don't know this is like cutting something all together out and starting a new chapter in your life because wheel of fortune is always leave, leaving the redundant energies in past and accepting new things coming towards you 
so this is beautiful towards the end of this week i see you are just letting go of the confusion you're putting logic into things and a fresh start is waiting for you wow <clears throat> so starting with the hermit what is this confusion this uh, hermit energy on your mind what are you thinking here ace of pentacles younger but sign taurus virgo capricorn for some of you this can be a money idea so idea surrounding stability nine of swords yeah it's keeping you awake at night for some of you it's like somebody who is a younger earth sign taurus virgo capricorn is providing you an idea or a response and this is building a lot of confusion on your mind what should i do Meanwhile, this King of Wands is somebody who is helping you know your word. This King of Wands is coming from a place uh, where I see this can be a boss. This can be somebody with a lot of prosperity and stability. And this person has uh, is able to see you for what you are, right? For some of you, I'm, I'm getting here, they're attracted to you. They're giving you compliments. They're pampering you in a way that you're able to see the side of yours, which you were actually not seeing till now because of this energy, right? so i see this communication is going to be very important this this can be a stranger altogether a stranger i don't really see that i see this is a past person though but for some of you this is a soulmate if this is a complete stranger it can be even more exciting because it's like you know some complete stranger looking at you for what you are at workplace or simply sitting in the ca at the cafeteria this person comes in and showers you with compliments like i've never seen a person like you you're so beautiful or you're so dedicated you are so classy so sophisticated like some compliments are definitely coming from this person's side to you and you will be like oh my god i was so stressed in my personal life i was not looking at the beauty at the at the beautiful energy that i carry right so something is reviving from within you when you find this person you, this can be somebody you already know but you will see a different side of this person in this week right so that's a very positive shift six of wands i do see that uh, you're going to take your sweet time you're not responding to the compliments and the proposals or something that you're getting this week straight away it's like you know that you have a lot of attention at you but you might be ignoring it but this is definitely bringing some self-worth back which you know probably was <clears throat> i should say shadowed because of some challenges here finally ace of swords and wheel of fortune let's see there's an ascension taking place five of pentacles justice and the queen of wands oh my god okay for some of you i'm getting a very deep message right now take what resonates do not force it again it's a tar it's a tarot reading and <clears throat> it's a general tarot reading and it's just for your general guidance towards the end of this week aries i find yourself cutting out something which was like a five of pentacles to you that was a constraint to you emotionally financially physically by any means anything that was a constraint to you any person who was abandoning you who was not valuing you for your worth you're cutting it off justice is showing me it's like giving someone the taste of their own medicine this is karma this is anything that was imbalanced in give and take you're just cutting it off i don't know this is love this is what but you're cutting it off and ace of swords to the justice it's like you are standing in your power you're knowing your truth if someone is not valuing you for what you are dude really somebody is getting the answer <coughs> without saying without confessing with without you coming in front of them and saying something your body language is going to give a strong reaction to somebody i'm picking up and queen of wands for few of you this is like okay i'm out for dating now i'm out for finding new people if something from the past is really putting me in an off mood i'm just going out and dating new people right for rest of you this can be an energy where uh, something was not letting you to come into your power and explore your physical strengths your beauty your i'm not getting the right words it's just that you are so attractive but you were not in your best energies as if you were not taking care of yourself you were not grooming yourself you were not getting um, beauty treatments or something it's like you were just not taking care of yourself and now that's over that that phase is getting over and this week a beautiful change is coming in where nobody has the right to treat you this way right and you're establishing justice here coming out in a totally different way and somebody is going to get shocked right if somebody is ignoring you if somebody is uh, not giving you 100 percent 
yeah if somebody is acting cold with you my god you're going to give taste of their own medicine to them okay what Aries needs to hear in this situation communicate clearly Aries if you find yourself in a position where you're not able to talk or express yourself to somebody it's time to go out and express yourself right communicate tell somebody how you feel ask somebody how they feel become the queen of swords there are helpful people i see this king of wands is actually a helpful person to you but i don't know this is a love new beginning or in general this person is arriving the scenes like a healer like potentially um somebody who's going to pump you up right and you'll feel that okay what i'm doing to myself this is not me the hermit is not me i was never the hermit you're coming back to your power in your energy series you're the fire so what else abundance yeah i told you romance i do see some new romance also and for some of you this is the old romance of course but uh, okay aries why are you finding yourself in the hermit energy here unrequited love there's no okay not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going you're finding yourself in a position where uh, you're responding to something because you feel it's important but you don't find the real chemistry in this situation hermit to the seven of cups you're finding yourself in a position where things are unrequited so you might feel that okay i need to just change my energy and the moment you drop that situation you have no idea what's waiting for you healing family issues okay what else is coming up for Aries? Flirt. I do see some new romance. Extend your lighthearted energies to other. Flirt and Queen of Wands. This is showing me you guys need to come back to your power. Just be light, happy. Go out, explore, right? Explore your um, sexuality, I heard for some of you. Last but not the least, deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. I do see you're missing somebody, but that person is not exactly what they're showing to be right so i see that there's a transformation and wheel of fortune you're you're leaving some things behind which are unrequited anymore right okay so before we wind up let's have a quick message for money what is money bringing for aries here high honor again i told you six of wands with the high honor i see a lot of new opportunities coming your way when it comes to financial thing i do see you getting a lot of attention and for some of you some promotion some rise some hike or simply just appreciation for your work this week is coming in right so this is what i have for you guys thank you so much for watching Bye bye